a slightly more systems level approach to molecular physiology of uh, normal physiology and pathophysiology. This is where engineering becomes very important because engineering brings a perspective of a system integrating the functions of all the molecules and cells that are in our physiology is the key. The technology for doing this is really based on an engineering approach of how integral pieces come together to integrate to produce a given function. This is where regenerative medicine needs to go. And so regenerative medicine today is going the direction of how do we reconstruct larger tissues from microscopic scales. Now you look at the changes that happen over the course of a human life, which alters both the genome and the genes that are expressed and so forth. We are now talking about the scales which are unprecedented, easily human visualizable or computable scales. This is where digital medicine becomes very important. Data sciences in the form of learning, machine learning, deep learning is going to really transform the way we think about digital medicine. And this is where we are going in the future.